VR Chat, The Next Frontier. These are the experiences from Gunter's universe. His continuing mission, to seek out and connect with VR devs and passionate enthusiasts. To discuss theories, beliefs, and rhetoric of all kind. And to boldly go where no show has ever gone before. We are back, people. How's everybody doing out there? Good. Yes. Welcome back to Gunter's Universe. Yes. Feeling good tonight. Got a great show lined up. Uh, For those of you that are new, uh, this show where we talk about VR and technology, and we invite uh, some really cool guests on the show. We invite developers, personalities, influencers, or we talk to the community sometimes. It's really great and fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. With us tonight, it's a pleasure of talking with the husband and wife dev team, Robot Loves Kitty. She's Alex, a.k.a. Kitty, a.k.a. Spork of Love in VR chat. That's what, how I met you. Um, and then uh, he's Calvin, a.k.a. Captain Robot. And they've created uh, a few games, including Legend of Dungeon, which I love, which is amazing. Um, and that's a four-player procedurally generated action role-playing game with roguelike elements. And Super Tony Land, which is also freaking awesome, which recently came out, a platformer with a powerful level editor, an emphasis on telling stories, and building entire game worlds. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi. Hi, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm really excited. Uh, I uh, I had Le- Legend of Dungeon for a long time. I actually don't know how long, but it's been a long time. Uh, it's a lot like a lot of Steam games where you have a huge uh, library and you haven't played them all or played them all a lot. So it was really great to, to get back into the game and, and just really, really love it. You guys did great work. Well, thanks. Yeah, uh, a lot of people got it. I think it was in a humble yeah. bundle at one point. So mm. okay, cool. A lot of people have it and don't know they have it, that kind of thing. Ah, interesting, interesting. That could have been it. I don't do a lot of humble bundles, but I think there was one a while ago. And the game's been out for a while. I don't think uh, 2014, maybe? Yes. 2013, right, even? Right at near the end of 2013, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right as VR was coming out, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. 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 We've, That's when I, I saw VR was the end of 2013, and I was like, oh my god, is this thing real? It looks like legit, the stuff I'm seeing coming out of CES and like the videos. Yeah. I was. I've always been in. Uh, I've always. I've wanted to do like a full like VR project that is just like pure VR. But uh, it, it, we seem to be getting into like other weird projects all, along the way. And like I was in the middle of Legend of Dungeon when like the Oculus headset was the, the dev kit was coming out and stuff like that. So you were really a day one backer you know, for that, right? Couldn't the focus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, couldn't props. focus on just VR stuff. What? It's great, yeah. I wish I would have backed because it's always fun to be somebody that's backed a project like that. But uh, I had to wait, and then when I saw in January or so that I was like, oh, this is the real deal. <laughs> got on the pre-orders, got mine in August of 2014. Immediately went to the Minecraft server, which is called Minecraft. <laughs> uh, it was brand new. Wormslayer, you guys might know Wormslayer that uh, does moderates the subreddits, if you guys go far back. And that's where my first social VR experience was, was in Minecraft. They, they installed a positional audio plugin in a mumble. And so you were talking with people in all kinds of uh, awesome. 3D positioning. And so that was really amazing. But anyways, let's go through a little bit of your background. Tell us a little about yourselves. Uh, hmm. Well, so I, uh, I'm completely self-taught as far as programming goes. Uh, we, I was your doing like IT work. Out. Uh, yeah, and I dropped out of college. I'm a massage therapist. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that, that's right. That's right. Uh, so we, uh, uh, at one point, I asked her for like a year off that, so, so that she would make money instead of I was making money. Uh, mm-hmm. Stop doing, um, stop doing IT work and try to make a video game for a year. I was like, maybe I can pull it off. I'm going to make a massively multiplayer game. And uh, <laughs> five years later. Right. <laughs> Five years later, uh, we got a technical excellence nomination for um, IGF on our game, right. first game called Never Dawn. Yes. Which, which I, uh, never actually reached completion. Yeah. 
it kind of looked like RuneScape, I think, from what I've seen. I don't know. If uh, that's it's a, kind of it's kind of like an eight bit styled uh, 3D world where um, you could build whatever you wanted. And uh, yeah, I was, I'm into making your own stuff kind of things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how these other two games that you released, Legend of Dungeon and Super Tony Land. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so college dropout, me too. That's awesome. That's you know what all the tech, what a lot of tech people do. They're self-taught. Um, where are you guys located? Uh, right now we're in upstate New York. Cool. Yeah, uh, we we've bounced around. Mm-hmm. A lot of places. Yeah, yeah. we were. Uh, we actually lived in a treehouse in New Hampshire for a while, just so we could keep making video games. I read about that. That was in Vermont. Yeah. Oh, Vermont. Not I said New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah. We also lived yeah. in New Hampshire. <laughs> I love it up there. I'm I'm in South Florida and from South Florida. Don't get to go up, or I don't go up north very often, but I have been to those areas and it's so beautiful. And I want a treehouse, tree home, uh, like what you guys are building. Uh, I've for over a decade dreaming about something like that. Um, I think that's super rad. Were you, you said you did it so you could develop? Uh, like, was it a cheaper lifestyle or something like that? So, oh, yeah, oh, a yeah. lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah. No electric yeah. bill, no no any bill. It makes it, makes it yeah. a little bit easier. We, were, we bought some broken solar panel pieces and assembled our own solar panels so that we'd have electricity. Incredible. And so you powered your machines <laughs> and you had wireless internet? Or how did yeah, that work? Yeah, we cellular, cellular internet. Yeah, the top of that bill. mountain magically had internet, which is the only reason we were cool with it. Because we're not heathens, yep. you know. We need your yeah. internet. <laughs> I don't need running water, but I need internet. <laughs> um, that's so. What cellular connection, by the way? Uh, oh, I don't remember. The, I think it was, was it Verizon. An unlimited plan was it like a Verizon. Oh, it was an plan? Un, it was an unlimited plan back when. Back when, when unlimited plans existed. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the reason I ask is because I've done a similar thing, and it's like. The only way I would have done it is because of my Verizon Unlimited plan, else I wouldn't be able to have really good internet, uh, and uh, mine was grandfathered into, so it was unlimited. And, you know, it was our TV, it was, uh, so me and my wife got an RV, we went traveling a little bit, nowhere spectacular, but we were living cheaper, and uh, so I've done, I don't know, 70 episodes of Gunter Universe out of the RV um, on the Verizon cellular connection, and so... That sort of lifestyle and stuff's always been interesting to me. I'm back in my home in South Florida, and I much, much more prefer it. I'm so happy. Just, just th- I just need running water, actually, in a toilet. Yeah. It's pretty. I need hot, that. So. Hot running water, you don't realize until you don't have it just how nice it is, what a luxury yeah. it is. That's funny. So, uh, yeah, actually, Boston... while we were... Oh, go, ahead. go ahead, please. Oh, I was just saying, while we were in the treehouse, that's when I backed uh, the dev- Oculus dev kit. Just I've been like a, mm. I've been interested in VR for like ages. I um, since we were a kid. Would, anytime, right? Any, yeah, since I was a little kid, I've been into it. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah. I went. I did the Disney um, Aladdin Disney yeah, Quest uh, VR experience. Disney Quest from yeah. way like way back. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, hated it though. I I was I think it was uh, just fitted wrong and blur is cross eyed. So unfortunately, it didn't work <laughs> very well for me. And have only bad memories of it. I, I we actually saw it before my my family went to Disney and we saw it before it was a like a release to the public thing. Nice. Uh, they nice. took us in and they're like, "Hey, do you want to come and try something new?" We were at in Epcot, and they just like dragged us away and and like as like a wow. like eight or nine year old kid, I was just blown wow. away by it. That's that's a really good way to do it. Yeah. Um, cool, like, man. Cool. Yeah, I've been into VR for a long time. So, okay, um, so did you grow up with gaming and computers and programming? Was that part of your lifestyle? Yeah, I had a, a Commodore 64 uh, mm-hmm. as a kid. I was, like, learning to program on that from, like, like as soon as I could type on a keyboard, so. Yeah. What about you, Spork? Yeah, um, my family was kind of behind the time, so even though I'm, I'm a – a fair deal younger than robot my first computer was also a commodore 64 um, amazing but uh yeah uh, lots of i was behind the time lots of well. games and lots of computers yeah 
I liked my Nintendo, my Super Nintendo big time. Finally built my own computer when I was 16, and that's where it all really starts to mm -hmm. blossom. I had like an Apple IIe that was hand-me-down before that, but all I could do is put floppy disks in, type the name of like Rambo this game, and hopefully it executes and play <laughs> Rambo the text adventure. I don't know. That's the only one I really remember <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> So yeah, uh, my co-host, I actually didn't welcome him and say hello, Bob, a.k.a. Cause and Effects. What's going on, buddy? Not much. Yeah, I can <laughs> barely see me up here, but yeah, I'm up here. And I want to recognize Aphromania here. He has jumped in stream. He's the camera that you see on Twitch, and that will be recorded. Uh, will be the recorded uh, stream. He has another computer with somebody. Oh, got a lot of lag there. Um with another uh, account looking at a screen that is what's going output. So thank you, Aphromania. That really, really Aphromana, that really helps. And Bob, you uh, actually have a picture of you and Spork, um, which was kind of interesting, uh, at a Boston meetup. I don't know if you guys have met up or met each other, but no. you have a picture of them. Yeah, we so... We probably exchanged, like, three words. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I was doing demos in the back um, with the Derovis dive, and most, no, no one there had seen it before. So that's what I had for VR, and that, that, was the, that was the first meetup that I went to. It was in June of 2014, and that they had the first of the, I wouldn't say, but the public showing of Valve's prototypes. There, it was like their second or third gen. So they had like two 1080p screens that are vertical, and they had like, um, they were they were like pretty wild looking headsets. So it was there the were face no masks, right? It was just the face. Yeah, yeah. Those were the ones yeah, that like they... covered your mouth and everything. Like there's yeah, this huge yeah. overhang. It, it, they just like they took two phone screens and then just like put them put them vertically right in front of your face. Yeah, they looked really cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they look See, very, I had like, no, uh, I had no idea metal. that you guys were so um, <laughs> yeah. so old school. You know, I met Spork in VR chat, um, singing away, singing a beautiful song. I, I actually heard about you playing at Owlboy's, uh, the Great Pug, at his Thursday night events uh, where <laughs> McMuse plays, but you were substituting in for yeah. that. And people were telling me, I do open mic nights on Fridays, and so I'm always looking for more people to come in and play, and that's what you've been doing for the last you know, month or so is coming out to open mic night and it's just been great. And here it turns out we have all this stuff in common. You guys have been into <laughs> VR for a while and it's just super cool. So love it. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Man. Um Yeah. There's actually a, a kind of think? a cool fact, which is that there's um 'cause we have we've really been in it since almost the beginning. And we were at this this game jam that Valve was hosting along with Alchemy. Um, mm -hmm. And Alchemy Robot makes, brought... Uh, that game. Uh, they made uh, the Rick and Morty simulator. one and Job Simulator. Yeah, and, and, and Job yeah very cool guys. They're super cool guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They're really super cool. Um, but uh, Robot brought his Razor Hydra. That's what mm -hmm. it's called, right? And he was the yeah, only one who one brought those. anything that would... <laughs> Anything that would let you use your hands inside of the game. That's all there was. And uh, we've yeah. we've heard multiple multiple people who were there at at that place and have connections with with Valve that that our little jam game helped convince them to actually ship their headsets with hand controllers. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, we robot is partially called... maybe responsible. We made a game wow. called Kaiju. Kaiju. That's what it was Kaiju called. Kaiju. Yeah, so it was you were in a giant robot, uh, and you had these big, long, extendy arms, and you could pick up uh, buildings and Toy set people and, and game. throw yeah. them, and then and punch uh, inflatable kaiju. Everything looked like toys. It was cool. And uh, actually, Carrie from Alchemy, what did all the art for our little jam? Yeah, yeah. she's awesome. Was that game jam in like Austin? Like is that no, one? No, it was yeah. in Boston. Boston. That's the one that I went Boston. to. It was in Boston that day. That yeah. that that time. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I think that was the only one I didn't try because that one had the longest line. <laughs> yeah, I, seem to, <laughs> Aww. I seem to like it. I really it liked good. it. I wanted to make yeah, a real fun. version of it, but but we were busy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. She'll, we should still. That'd be fun. Punching squeaky toys is the best. Yeah, they made a very satisfying squeak whenever you punched them. It was great. And they had cute little, like, blushing butts on the bottoms. Do you, Dr. Have you ever seen those, like, inflatable punching toys for kids that are, like, rounded on the bottoms? So when you punch them, they roll. Yeah, And sure. then they pop back up. And they come back. Yeah, that's, actually, what yeah, the, like a, that's what the giant monsters that were invading were. They were just really nice. just punch toys. <laughs> that's a great little demo. Anyhow. Oh, uh, the, the Razor <laughs> Hydra. They could have done something with that, yeah. stupid asses. For years, nobody had motion controls. Um... Terrible piece of product though too. Dropped it way too many times. I've mm. rubber banded had, mine together. And... Had a lot of issues. Yeah. Yeah. The hydro. Someday those things will be in, in museums. Yeah, <laughs> I still have mine somewhere. In a box. So you guys made this game, Legend of Dungeon, and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it, and then show a video, and then we'll really talk get into it so uh yeah dropped the uh, end of 2013 it's a randomly generated action rpg beat em up um, with roguelike elements um, and it's really beautiful uh, great lighting um you guys did a kickstarter for this project and uh, i remember back in those days there were a lot of kickstarters that happened yours was quite successful um, you were asking for five thousand and you ended up with well a little bit more than that thirty two thirty three thousand dollars <laughs> eighteen hundred backers yeah. People That's what got that. us out of the treehouse. People yeah. <laughs> liked it. And then we could afford an apartment. Uh, well, nice. we felt like we had to because we'd had to actually develop this thing. <laughs> yeah, like full time. Instead of spending half of batteries. our day walking up and down a mountain to yep. get to electricity yep. if we needed it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show so the video. A, what video is a it? Look at the video. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's actually got two of the trailers. I had to get the party one in there after the kind of the first oh, one. That was great. Just so awesome. <laughs> My room might be lagging a little bit, I apologize. Within the dark stone. On your way, you would be wise to have random mythical beasts to aid your descent. You will face unspeakable evil and unearth. stop on that okay i hope everybody i hope not everybody got jittery choppy video um was that your guys experience or it sounded great and just fine it was a it was little chunky, chunky. Over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah it happens if the Probably was that for the stream. Than our own frame rate i think yep. what was our sub 30th moment yeah, so like apologize 18. for that <laughs> We gotta we have to figure that out, but it's I'm having lots of fun and this is working rather well except for a little bit of choppy audio. Um, let's play the next one and hopefully it comes through okay. It's really fun. Of course, you guys can look these up on um, Robot Loves Kitty's uh, YouTube channel. There's a lot of great videos there. And if your sound's not all the way up, you'll want to do that. I haven't seen this in so long. <laughs> What a cool idea. Things do happen in the game. That's 
Vomiting Rainbows also does happen in the game, yes. Yeah. Oh, Nico's totally gonna hide five too. I feel like the party captured our lighting really well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was well shot, I thought. I also like this part. Because that sort of thing also happens a lot in the game. <laughs> yeah, she will die there in this game. So I hit stop on that. Yeah, she will die because, well, that's <laughs> what makes it really challenging. And I love permadeath games. I played Minecraft mm -hmm. on like permadeath just so I didn't play, I didn't get addicted to it that week. I just wanted to build until I died and then cry and then move on with my life. <laughs> um, yeah. I've, I've cried a couple times with Legend of Dungeon. Um, <laughs> yeah, go tell us, you know, some of the inspiration about the game, stuff like that. Well, oh, I can tell you, like, my part it, of it in a lot of ways is kind of more of the design. I did some of the art. Robot does all of the programming. Of the some he's, of the art. He's the programming genius. Well, some of the art. You did the 3D box, but, and uh, Sebastian was the character designer. He came up with Sebastian, the, the original disappeared set. from the internet. I don't know yeah, what happened to him. He's no longer um, but you're looking for him, on, if anyone knows Sebastian. Uh, she had a, it was she based... played original Rogue uh, when she was younger. Because you didn't tell it. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Tell, tell your story. I'm gonna pout right. now. No, so, yeah. I actually i I played the original Rogue as like a six or seven year old girl on this Apple IIe that my family got for free because there was a mouse nest in it. And so we pulled from <laughs> a lot of the the Rogue <laughs> elements from my memories of it. So it's not like. We didn't like in inspect Rogue and how it worked. It was just my memories of how it worked and what what it felt to play play it, and we tried to put those in as best as we could and embody kind of that. And then we also the feeling on top of, of that, Rogue, even though it's kind of like actiony yeah. beat 'em up. And on oh, top yeah, which, of that, which Robot is... had his side too, which was yeah. I, was, I played a lot part. of like uh, coin up <laughs> uh, four player. Uh, Hell yeah! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, things like that. Simpsons, and I wanted to make X Men. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wanted yeah. to get that feel across, you know. Like even though yeah. it doesn't have a lot of those like combat twitchy moves, it's kind of like a merger between like a rogue kind of thing and, and uh, yeah, beat them up, up, sort of something. Yeah, the co. Yeah. It's co-op, local mm -hmm. co-op, I believe, right? Yep, yep up to four so people. Uh, and you can shove each other into lava pits. So play with people who don't mind you punching them. Yes, we gotta be careful. The game, it, you know, it does does not uh, does not hold your hand. It will it will hurt you. Yes, yes, it yeah. will. Yeah, the Friends better you do, helpful, the worse though. it gets. That's the idea. It, the game itself, like the the creation of it, we had a very pretty standard sort of idea of what we were putting into it. It was very classic sort of stuff, and then we ran the Kickstarter, and oh, yeah. oh boy. Oh, so we got awesome. backer I'm requests so glad we did for that. like yeah, we... like high end backers requests, crazy things, just insane things. Custom monsters yeah. and items and stuff. I think stuff the weirdest one offered. is the weirdest one is they wanted an owl, but, but with like a ceiling fan on the top of it, and it would fly with the ceiling fan. <laughs> so it's in the game. <laughs> wow. Awesome. <laughs> Keep going. What else is in the game? What kind of monsters? Oh, what kinds of items? What kind what of hats? Other things. Tell us about all so, those details. Well, up, up, Do you remember anything so weird? up until up until like a year ago, we were still adding some various different items and stuff to it. Uh, I think the last thing we added was a mermaid cannon. Yeah, yeah, the mermaid cannon. Some the other mermaid cannon. like uh, a Twitch streamer. Uh, they had backed some other project and asked for a mermaid cannon. And then the developers, they like kind of dropped the ball and didn't they put it in. They disappeared, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, and so they were really So I'm like, I got this, no problem. You got Legend this. Dungeon can have a mermaid cannon. And so there's a, like a bazooka thing that you get, and it shoots mermaids out. And then the mermaids yes. get around, and they attack stuff. It's great. Yeah. You shoot out baby mermaids, and they instantly grow up oh, when right. they hit something. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very detailed. I love those weapons. Like, it is really like, because you shouldn't beat up everything some things are way too yeah. hard you could just look at them or oh, after you yeah. encounter these things you start to realize no i'm gonna go back in the door and go a different route or yeah. you know you have um 
like I was like a necromancer and shoot out skulls that would turn into skeletons that fight for you. So I'm shooting those across the map to beat up the, the, the baddie that I know I couldn't beat up solo with my sword or whatever weapon I have. So mm. you do need to be sneaky with that stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, knowing yeah, when to run of... away is good. <laughs> yeah, there's is a there lot of stuff that we added in after away? launch. Sorry? <laughs> Is there any ways to tell when when you need to run away? Because like for, yeah. for like bad guys you haven't seen yet, like yeah. I just if go up got... to them and be like, <laughs> yeah, start if hitting them and then I'm dead. Yeah, if you, you got killed you last time, with... then uh, yeah. then you run away you the next time. <laughs> you learn with the, with the bodies of your past self, most definitely. I see. And that is something yeah. that is definitely pulled from my memories of 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 rogue actually because i remember because it's a it's a it's a it's definitely all like letters and so you're going around and you're like oh there's an l i don't want to run into that l those are bad and then there's a t and you're like what's a t turns out it's a troll and you're dead and so it was very much yep. or death <laughs> that happens. or yeah I even yeah know. or vampire uh, just, i'm in a black room and then i'm basically dead because i couldn't see the big huge thing over there thanks guys thanks i really appreciate you have that. to bring the lantern, the lantern with you gotta bring the lantern, gotta get the lantern. lantern. <laughs> I know. you really gotta manage your inventory with this which i love it's yeah. a lot of fun i think that's the thing i'm most disappointed about items. uh the thing i'm most like um like uh like if there's anything i would change i would change the way the inventory system works um, but it would change mm -hmm. the game a lot too. So I like make it so you can only pick up a certain number of items or something like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I'm like sad about Legend of Dungeon. I love the rest of it though. I mean, you still could change it, right? No, 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 because it would change the gameplay up, and everybody would hate me for it. Yeah, so that gotta, would be yeah. a, a Changes, actually a major change. Even if the, yeah, even if a change makes the game better from a developer's perspective. If there are people yeah. who have played it and you change it, it is the worst thing you could ever have made and you're going to get death threats. That's just what happens. <laughs> people I don't, don't like change. It's very threats. interesting. They, oh, they would. We get death threats. Sport, what are some of the hats in the game? <laughs> oh, I think my all-time favorite hats would have to be, um, well, if you run into a cat in the, in the dungeon, you can pick it up and put it on your head. That's, I think, one of my favorites. And I also yep, really well, like the shrivel hat. And the, fi the fish hat's very, very, very fish colorful. Hat. And, you know, you, it's a fish on it's your head. But the, the, gerbil, the gerbil hat, I love because it throws baby gerbils out. Oh, baby that was another go, Kickstarter Hi! backer. That was, yeah. That was another <laughs> Kickstarter backer. They out. Was... Like, they're just like, like little shuriken. And they land on people and confuse <laughs> them. <laughs> I really like so that weird. hat. There's a party hat that gives you little lights. Um, oh man, it's a lot, a lot of hats. fun. There's a lot of hats. It's definitely plasma ball. You know, get the firefighter oh, hat. You need to drop some else? of those weapons. I mean, you're managing it. Drop these weapons. All right, now yeah. I've realized I like these. Um, but you have to hold on uh, to all your hats. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Can't drop, those, can't drop those hats. <laughs> I gotta be able to switch back over to my weapon, or else you know, uh, it's, it's gotta yeah. you gotta keep it to what you can manage. Yeah. Uh, of course, we did, potions uh, and apples. Post release, mm -hmm. we we added uh, the ability to like hot key an item. That was something yeah. we didn't have for a while. Oh, nice. There's yeah. So we we so didn't realize that. that our inventory was kind of bad. <laughs> so, so there's a there's a key now so that you can like select uh -huh. a thing and that button will always pull it back or something like that. That is a pro tip right there. All right. Yeah. Also, also one. pro tip, pro tip, you want to rescue the people you find, especially, especially if you go really far. There are people you can rescue, yeah. and that oh, unlocks the and there's, classes. Like, there's a lot of rumors going around. I oh, see them okay. on the internet. I see people posting screenshots. They're about, like, oh, floors yeah. lower than the 26th floor. It's absolute nonsense. Blatant Why would... lies. <laughs> it's lies, lies, lies. There's no floor below the 26th floor. Mm -hmm. Don't even look for no. any other secrets. No. And waste your time. going to challenge that. He's going to be no, like, no, well, you're just saying it to throw us off. see at least 32 <laughs> floors, okay? No, there, well, why would I put so many floors in? That would be ridiculous. And 26 is all floors. Why would you put floors in below the treasure? That's nonsense just 26. and madness. Floors, it's kind of like 25 levels but, and the tavern. More treasure. That makes sense, <laughs> right? Treasure. See, he knows what he's talking about. Something sounds impossible. greater than the treasure. Absolutely Lord. crazy. Friendship. Yes. Lies. I'm going to quell that rumor here and now. 
Yeah. I've seen some fake screenshots that you posted, but they're not real. Can't imagine trying to go past. I mean, I think I got to 14, uh, which I'm pretty proud of that. That was pretty tough. Yeah, I've, um, that's good. That's my all time record is 17. I've never been able to beat our own game. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> I, beat it, I beat it one time. Wow. And then you updated Holy it later, shit. and you're not sure you can even beat it now. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Tried. It's pretty hard. I should do that again. I have to play Other people are way better at it than we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it easier oh, to do multiplayer? No, it's, it's harder. It's easier and harder. It's it, harder it mostly be... because people shove you around and stuff. Mm -hmm. They put you in it lava. It would be easier, except except the other people are not going to do exactly what you think they should do because they are not your puppets. <laughs> they Wait, are your friends, and they will be jerks and go? selfish and greedy. Just <laughs> Gunter gone. Crashed. Hello, yeah. I am your I am your new Gunter. Hello. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> me, man. How Hello. are you? <laughs> Hi. Oh, Hi. Is... Oh, this? this is perfectly this is normal. Good. Everything this is, is fine. Great. So like, mean, nobody man. Say any... Nobody say anything about that. Like, he'll look at the stream later and help out. Let him. He won't know. Yeah, he won't know what there's, there's the empty gun. He's sending me messages, he's messages now. I bet he crashed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so crashed. He'll yeah, be right back. So, I mean, like, we can... And put him where his chair is. I have a legitimate question, though. So, you guys... You do? Sure, yeah. Let's take questions from the crowd. Do you like... Um, is there like speedrunning kind of stuff? There are. Oh, There's people man. that speedrun Legend so... of Dungeon. Somebody's done it so quick, it's ridiculous. Oh, they beat the game in like what, like, like eight seven minutes. minutes or something? Eight minutes. <laughs> so Jeez, here's the crazy. deal. Here's the deal with Legend of Dungeon. It's randomly generated. Yeah. Okay. However, we do yeah, have fast. like you can create a seed, so you can type in, Ooh. you know, potato, and every time it'll spawn the same exact map. And so he's there were people who speedran. This like a a seated run, um, yeah. and then there's also like a daily dungeons. You know, like it just, there's a dungeon of the day as we well, and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, <laughs> if uh, you guys have connections, yeah, that'd be awesome. What? But what? Um, do you what engine did you use for the game, or did you kind of just use it for like that? It's made in Unity. I, I've done working almost exclusively in Unity for like a while now. Yeah. Oh, okay. As okay. you can see here. Well, no, as you ah. can see there. <laughs> Wait, what list? <laughs> see what? Oh, I blocked that. See all right. around us. This is all Unity, right? No, oh, yeah, no this yes. is Unity. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, I have a, I'm actually I have using C++. Here. Uh, Wild Cloud, here. Wild Cloud oh, has one. Oh, yeah, I'll Wild Cloud, what's your question? Yeah, please well, do. This is a so let me say right here. Here they go. Uh, this is a question more directed at Captain Robot as someone who is a programmer. Um, as someone mm. as myself, I'm sorry, I've jumbled my words. Um, as someone who is going to the programming field, me, me, and that's me, uh, and going to college. Uh, if you had to say a tip to someone who is learning programming, what would what would you tell them? Oh man, oh, I have no idea. Very, you, you would no, so, you do know. You would say oh, don't go to school for it. Screw that. Man. That's what you would say. Oh, yeah, that's no, but I don't know say. that's good for everybody. It was good for me. I, <laughs> Keep yourself I shouldn't go to that's school. My, that's my saying. Towards it. I, 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 um, I don't know. Back. I think if you're smart enough to do programming, you need to problem solve that for yourself because what yeah. you can do and how you learn and how everything works for you, I, my, anything I suggest, or don't, don't listen to anybody. If you ask that question and then somebody else goes, here's what you need to do, and they try to give you advice, they are they're, wrong. They're the only right advice <laughs> is, I don't know what is good for you. The, the only and, right and advice you're going to have to is, figure is it out yourself. Scouring the internet and deciding what seems right for you. Um, yeah, the I, biggest thing I, I, I can tell you is, like, is working with other people. Yeah. yeah, Working with other people is hard. And it is a skill in and of itself, and it is something that you should you should explore. That, that's as much as I'll say. I recommend that you explore working with other people just to build that skill to understand. This skill I do not back. have. We no, took questions really from the crowd while you were gone. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. Um, this, sorry about that, guys. Um, it might happen again. Uh, my frames are suffering. We've let a lot of people in the door, so... Um, for some people, that's difficult with the whole frame's performance. But we're back. We're talk still talking about Legend of Dungeon. Um, I think there was one more Legend of Dungeon video. Let's throw that up and see what, what it looks like. I can't remember what. Oh, I All think right. it's the VR mode. So you guys can see what it looks like in VR. Um, and I forgot to put credit or to be able to recognize whose video this is. So I apologize. 
Um, that's bad on me. That's not a live one. It's definitely the one. Party time! There we go. And this is Legends of Dungeon. It is so much better playing it in VR. In VR. Yeah. Like, you have an advantage. <laughs> I, I love the way it looks kind of like a diorama that you'd make in a cardboard box. One person's on the bridge. Yes. Yeah, the best way you'd probably play it would be sitting in, in like your living room with uh, uh, a chair that's on wheels, so you can just kind of like go back and forth. Yeah, be right. Be beyond capable. Uh, it's great because you see the depth, you see, because you don't really see that on your 3D monitor, and so sometimes your swing, but maybe you're right in front of the bat, you don't realize it. Um, here you can see that, or you can judge when you get across the lava bridge if you're on it correctly. Um, and then you can look all the way down the map and be like, okay, I see what's way down there. You can't do that on the 2D screen. You have to, you know, square or move all the way over to see what's, what's down there. Um, a lot of people in the VR, you know, uh, community don't, don't like those games. They don't feel like they're, because they're not immersive or, you know, they're using controller. I always love these, anything in VR, really, but, like, it's fun playing the Lucky's Tale or playing... Something like you're this. Possible. You're just playing uh, a game and now you can see it anymore. and you're in it. Like, how is that a bad thing? Mm -hmm. That's not a bad yeah. thing. Yeah. It was on a whim that I added the VR mode. I was just like, I mm -hmm. bet this won't work. I bet this will be terrible. <laughs> and I just and pulled, like, put the wow. plug in down there and it immediately, like, it took like three seconds to get the basics working. And, and I was just like blown away by how much better it was. So, yeah, it was really cool. When we first VR started showing. Yeah, when we first started showing the VR version of Legend of Dungeon around, we were at a lot of, like, we'd go to, like, talks and various meetups and stuff like that, and a lot of people were looking at VR for the very first time. And, uh, and it was really interesting because a lot of people said that it was the best first-time user experience for VR at that time. Yeah, a lot of just things. A lot of things make people sick. Everything else is like the roller coasters. Especially in the early days. Those are awful. Yeah. In the early days, everything made you nauseous a little bit. Yeah. And uh, yeah. a lot of people said, yeah. "This is the first time I tried VR, and it didn't make me sick." So stuff like that. Yeah, and it's I good. didn't hate it. Yeah. So it, there is definitely a space cool. for games that aren't immersive in that first-person sort of way. Before we move on to um, Super Tony Land, I saw that there's a Masters edition or something like that. Oh, no. Oh, that's a Legend long Dungeon. story. That's a yeah. long, uh -oh. so, what are, what a long story. Well, I'll, I'll give you the brief elements of it uh, just to kind of give you an idea, but it is kind of defunct, unfortunately, because um, okay. it was really more of an experiment than anything else, and Twitch changed some things that kind of derailed us, and now it's just so buried and done. Problem. It's very, it's, yeah, yeah. it's dramatic. But um, it's all Twitch's fault. It basically, the concept is that Twitch, at the time, there was no, there was no, like, Twitch elements type stuff. There was no way for the audience to kind of reach into the game and affect it. And this was our, our, our attempt at doing something like that. Um, so it was actually a separate game that you would load up and you would be able to connect to a stream, watch the stream, and the the person playing would be playing a version of Legend of Dungeon that drops chests and is looking for these commands coming from this Legend of Dungeon Masters. And these chests would happen and they'd go up and they'd give prizes to everyone watching and they could like send stuff in and vote on, you know, if if uh you know, if they want something good to happen or bad to happen. I think one of the options is bees, and, like, the room just fills <laughs> with bees, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> bees. And, and uh, it was really cool. It, a lot of people really enjoyed it. I actually just it saw was... a tweet the other day, uh, and, and Legend of Dungeon Masters was somebody's, like, top ten all-time played games on Steam, <laughs> which was, blew my yeah, mind. That's crazy. really but, unfortunate. It was just... You basically control was... people. It was a broken mess in a lot of ways, though. Uh, I mean, the gameplay itself was just all broken. over the place. I mean, it was just, it was easy to make, you know, just to ruin people's games or crash their game and stuff. So and it was just more effort to make it work than we had time to put into it, fortunately. Really neat idea. Super also, ambitious. 
Yeah, I yeah, didn't write can... most of the code for that too. We were borrowing code from another project we were working on uh, to, to try to get it to work, to test it out. So yeah. for me to fix it, to go in and fix it, I really need to rewrite it from scratch. So. Which is something we keep kind of thinking about because it's still yeah. something that people haven't really done correctly or, or yeah. well. Everything yeah. that we've seen has um, some extreme limitations and just not very imaginative. And we really, really like being imaginative. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of where Robot excels is in coming up with interesting different stuff. So in the last, I uh, know, recently, you've been um, working on different projects, investing lots of time into Super Tony Land. I actually didn't realize it was out. Um, uh, on your website, yeah, it still says it's coming soon. Um, and just things that I saw, I was like, oh, man, I want to play that. And then I just realized it was um, available yeah, earlier like, today. And so I picked yeah, that like an up. early beta. And I love it. It's great. Oh, I mean, thanks. I love Mario. So <laughs> how can you not love this? There's so many, you know, elements. Mario 1, Mario 2. I mean, all kinds of stuff uh, I see in there. Um, uh, let's play the trailer real quick, Bob, and then we'll get into it. <laughs> Super Tony Land. Bob, you can hit stop. Yeah. Logo, also by the way. Super cool. <laughs> so I was on Reddit the other day. You guys are making that? Yeah. Oh, you saw it on Reddit? Oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> Some of this kind of reminds me of Super Meat Boy. Uh, sure. But, um, you could definitely mostly... make very punishing levels like that if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's um, um, days. obviously a huge inspiration from... Um, Mario Maker, but Mario. actually, uh, mm -hmm. before Mario Maker came out, this is actually a sequel to uh, one Tiny of our, our first games. Uh, first game we made in Unity called Tiny Plumbers, and, uh, and where you could make your own levels inside of the game, and yeah, that kind of thing. So, yeah, this, so that, continuing that, that with that create, you know, being able to create, giving the, power, the yeah. players that power. Um, yeah. uh, and, and what ambitious. Robo is saying is, is a basically mm -hmm. Nintendo ripped us off. Ha! No, no, yeah. no, I'm not That's totally not saying no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but, yeah, yeah no. so like Mario Maker is cool and everything, but like I, I wanted to do stuff with physics. I wanted yeah. to like make things like uh, so like you could just like make machines and program stuff inside of it. So, so I like made it. Made one that you and you take advantage of lighting in really clever, fun ways. Yeah, I, I love when I hit all the lights out, very... and I was like, oh, shit, now I can't <laughs> see. Damn it, I, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. We use a lighting yeah, same... system very similar to Legend of Dungeon. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we do like that you can deprive the player of, of light and also yeah. provide it with, like, the, as, like, puzzle elements. Like, there's usually, like, a light block you can carry with you or other yeah. you know, various things you can do. What we actually do yeah. is there's a, um, the, uh, the lighting works exactly like uh, for 3D lighting where you might uh, have like a low res model, but you put a high resolution bump map on it so that it gets crevices and things like that from, from 3D lighting. So but these it still sprites has a low poly basically count. have, right, so these sprites have, uh, each sprite, every frame of the sprite has its own bump map so that it picks up lighting three dimensionally from a scene around it. So that's how the lighting works in Legend of Dungeon and Super Nice. Means a lot the more story. work on our end. 
Okay. Oh, you have a story? Well, but obviously you care a lot about that, and visually, I mean, it's a big, I think, a big appeal and big draw. Yes, yeah, story. Yeah, like There's a story things. going on. You guys have made a story to go along with this. Also, you know, it's a maker program, but I, I don't know. There was some, I only came across a little bit of the story. There's some people conspiring. It seems like I'm the one or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, do, do we Tony... want to? How much do we talk about this in public? I haven't even thought uh, about this. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. I'll leave uh, so it to Tony, you. he's um, he's a bit of uh, he's a, well, he's a, pl a a plumber from Brooklyn. Uh, he's uh, he got trapped in the video game realm. He's not the nicest guy. If you imagine like a Brooklyn plumber who's may or hey. may not have like ties oh, to the mafia or something, <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah. he's not the best guy. Uh, and uh. <laughs> Basically, he and got then, trapped in video game land and, yeah. and ended up taking over a huge portion of it. He's, he's, it's, that's why it's called Super Tony Land. Uh, uh, he's got his own plumbers, castle. He's got... Yeah, like in Tiny Plumbers, he basically he acquires wealth and power through quote-unquote rescuing princesses and then yeah, he yeah. sells them rescuing. to, <laughs> to a, a, a zilla that has other princesses uh. in a cage. <laughs> We don't exactly define what's happening. Business Zilla. Business Zilla okay, takes business the princesses Zilla off his hands. Yeah. So, uh, in exchange for goods. <laughs> so in, in Super Tony Land, it's a little more um, like uh, Tony's got to learn to live with the consequences of his actions is, is what the story is for that. Okay. Okay. Neat. That's a good way to put Neat. it. Was there a question um, in the More to though? love. Yeah. Did you have a comment or question? Oh, no. I just said that got super dark super quickly. <laughs> ah, cool. yeah. that was to... my idea to, to be a traffic not, not to put that on crazy. yeah <laughs> that is a change babe thank you um so you have a multiverse which is where people share their their creations right yep yep and go there Anything download you those yep yep yeah. and there's some crazy awesome stuff on there just like things i would never have thought of like, which is, the, of course, the beauty of, you know... Well, making, we haven't even touched on it in this, editor. which is that you added... It's not just blocks that you can put together, but you can also program chunks of code. So yeah, you uh, can visually. make all kinds so of So certain stuff. blocks are a um, thing like electronics. So you put down, like, a, an if block, and you can wire it up to variable blocks. And then uh, you press, like, a, a switch block that will have flow go out through it and do calculations somebody made a um i don't know can i swear here yeah is that, is um, okay oh okay mm -hmm. so somebody made a there's a program obscure programming language called brainfuck and mm -hmm. uh somebody made a brainfuck interpreter inside of super tony land so it's like it's a complete turing complete, turing complete <laughs> programming language inside of it wow wow this should be in uh, schools across the nation that's what i'm thinking I, I, right now yeah i think it'd be fun. a great idea it's a, it would, we'd have it's a good to, way like, to start out learning. Do a couple things to make it an educational program instead, but it would be really, <laughs> yeah, it, it would be really useful because it is a fantastic approach to programming and you get to see what you're doing in like instant results type situation. And you get to make your own game. You literally, you can design a game that's not even a side scroller if you want. Someone made a puzzle. Hmm. Um, someone made. Oh, I think one of my all-time favorite is someone made a hot dog and donut sorting game where you have a little <laughs> flipper and hot dogs and donuts fall down from the sky and you have to try to get the hot dogs on one side and the donuts on the other. And that's the whole game. And I love it. <laughs> that's pretty great. Um, what else about Super Tony Land? There are power-ups. You could tell Lots us about some of the fun stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, there's your standard, you know, get big hat and, uh, fireballs and, uh, Neko power up that lets you fly around with your tail. Uh, you but don't a cat, fly for too long. A cat suit. Yeah, you don't want to fly for too long. The, the my cousins get will get Neko you. Police. Yeah, my cousins. Yeah, the Neko police. <laughs> uh, they, they come out of the sky. They don't like you flying for too long. They, they're kind of territorial. Um, but uh, then there's like uh, a Walkman you can pick up that'll give you a skateboard. And a hat. Uh, so you can, yeah, yeah. So you, so you look really rad. And um, 
What else do we have? Oh, you can get a chicken egg that'll let you make bombs and throw bombs. Uh, the and there's donut tons in more and of itself in the works. There's gotta be a bunch of bombs. The donut is not a power up, however, it gives you the ability to get an ability from yeah, yeah. So you can, the Zillas. Hmm. You can throw a donut at a Zilla, which are these big those big green monsters you saw in the thing, and they'll <laughs> eat the donut and then fall asleep. And so you can run up and jump on their mouth and go down inside of them and then control their body. Wow. Uh, and breathe fire and stuff. Pro tip. Whatever ability the Sweet. Zilla has, you can use, yeah. yeah. So that, it's like a little uh like a little Nemo thing. Uh, it's an old NES <laughs> game. Yeah, there's a lot of the, uh, yeah. a lot of the power ups. No, I remember that one, the cartoon. Stuff. Yeah, and the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I played that I game. I, I, I would. Yeah. I might not have been Super Nintendo. It might have been Nintendo. I oh yeah, no. Did I say Super Nintendo? I'm sorry. I meant NES. No, I'm I'm my... thinking. Was no, I don't up, think you said that. Growing up, yeah. I I had uh, I had Super Mario Brothers three. Uh, Little Nemo and Sea Cross, <laughs> and uh, so like those are like really big, <laughs> big games from my childhood. Yeah, I remember renting they come Little out. Nemo. God, I gotta go take a look at that again. I think that was pretty good, but I can't really remember. But I I remember <laughs> playing a lot of it and thought it was um, super yeah. fun. It's not the best, but it's definitely no. really it's definitely good. You know, it's not like it's not like up there with like Mario, but. It's uh, sure. yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. Did Did you like Mario too? A lot of people don't like Mario too. I I was okay. Um, I was alright with Mario, Mario three too. fanboy for yeah, life yeah. though. Super That's Mario Brothers three is my favorite game of all time. So a lot of the movement mechanics in Super Tony Land are as close as I can get to with a uh, physics based system. So yeah. I like how difficult is it to like i guess block out these worlds and like figure out like exactly the player can jump this high so they can get here and like jump this far and oh, to make that fun stuff. that's got to be like really difficult yeah it's a uh, it's also bad since uh it's switching back and forth between play mode and like the same way it is in mario maker where you're kind of like clicking back and forth you just drop the player somewhere and they hit play and then try it and it's just a lot of just uh, okay. i wonder if this will work and you know, just being playful with it. Cool. At the end of the level, you get the same like uh, random uh, D-pad, heart, and something else. Like yeah, at the uh, end of the key. Mario Three, yeah, that yeah, yeah. matches up. Yep, yep. Love that. Yeah. It's great. It's a great throwback. Um, both of these games. Thanks. Thanks. If you if you grew up on a Nintendo and stuff, you, you'll really like this. I assume you're in your late thirties. I shouldn't assume that stuff, but I am, and it just feels like we're pretty close. I I am. We are secret, we are pro. Everybody. It's a secret. Yeah. I'm like I'm, I'm younger man. than you. If you want, you can say your age. You're fine. Super secret. <laughs> my birthday. I, I, I am. My birthday is two days, and I'll be thirty-seven. Oh, so cool. are you? Are you am, an eighty-one kid? I am mm-hmm. going to be turning forty this year. So, You're right between me um, and Bob. Yep. Bob's <laughs> older, so there's somebody older than here. Wow, that's awesome! Thanks and then Bob. everybody else are like. Thanks for taking taking the hit for robot. <laughs> Forty three got you by a few years. Cool. Bob's got I feel some like cool an stories. elderly person in here. <laughs> yes, if you're comparative, if you you know, if we think our parents are old, which is like twenty five years or something, like you are twenty five years older than somebody here. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, then me, I'm man. Old I think you're to be somebody's dad in here for sure. Like somebody's dad that had a kid later on, not right? Didn't rush into it. <laughs> Uh, cool, cool. Let's, uh, uh, watch the next trailer, which is Tiny Plumbers, so they can get an idea of Oh, yeah, the... okay. Oh, this is my favorite yeah. I will see that. I, you, we, I we'll can... play that uh, anytime. Watch this yeah, on I love this trailer. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, looks oh, like Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. It's Tony. We got blocks all over your head. We bought all of you from those towns. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> no town is too tiny. Good of Mario. Boy, 
Your logo, if you stop that, what does your logo say? It's all like meow, it's something robot that talks. Uh, oh, it? meow, it's, it's, um, it's from a speaking spell. No, it's from meow. a speaking spell. I took uh, a couple different words from a speaking spell and smushed them together and made it mirror cat and like cow or something. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. That ends an owl. I made it a okay. long time ago. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and, and it keeps getting deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's nice. that's Tiny Plumbers though. Uh, Tony is actually oh, played by. Uh, that's my dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yeah, he makes a great Tony. We're gonna have him in for the for the new trailer when when it when it releases when we're finished with early access. Oh no, nice. uh, we'll do another. We'll do make another, another appearance. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. he have fun playing the character? He did. Yeah, yeah, he, had he a really blast. did. He he. <laughs> yeah. He did a lot of that stuff ad lib, like that. Don't make me come over there and tighten your nuts. That's all. <laughs> yeah, him. That's all, that's all his idea. Proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very I'm proud, Donnie. I need to see this video now. Uh, <laughs> that, that's what you get when you get a pro. You know, you just let him go and. Yeah. Damn magic. <laughs> yeah, totally. There's so many people here. What? <laughs> Welcome. Have a seat. Enjoy the show. So, what else about the um, uh, oh, tiny so plumbers or? What's that? We got an issue. We got a couple people. Uh, no, he'll get no hit. Yep. Yeah. Don't know what they're doing. Okay. Okay. Don't kick. They're all like so confused. What's their name? Uh, they're over the edge now. Okay, there's like a. Nobody Just vote to kick them if it's a problem, and we'll all say yes to it. Because um, we ain't got time. We ain't got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, what were you saying? I'll leave it to you guys. So, I don't know. Oh, uh, Tiny Plumber. Like, what else about Tiny Plumber should we know? Oh, oh it was Earl. It's a. It was an oh, experimental it's like an old game, game to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. It's not the best game I've ever made. Uh, it has online multiplayer that may or may not still work. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> it has I've a very tried it in a long time. <laughs> It has a very interesting aspect to it, which is it is a side-scrolling platformer, but it mm -hmm. is randomly generated every time. Okay. And well, um, as Robot a mentioned of, like, before, chunks. yeah, mm -hmm. a Robot mentioned before okay. that like you could build stuff in it's our new like game. The mobile game. In this one, you could build little pieces that would randomly assemble together with the existing content. Yeah, so you could add little chunks oh. uh, and then share so them could... because they. Like it saves out the yeah. files as like PNGs, so you could just uh, throw them up on the net somewhere and have somebody else play other levels. And... But fantastic. it didn't have any online multiverse thing yet. No. And is it, can Steam you go back and do. forth scrolling, or can you only go forward like the original? Oh, you can go line. anywhere scrolling. Yeah, yeah. You can still go back? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. What else is interesting? All there right, is a, a secret. Other... Mm -hmm. There's a secret power-up in Tiny Plumbers that oh, nobody's no. found. That yeah. I, I will say right now, I'm very proud of and I'm very sad that no one has found it because it totally makes Tony just have a little leaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's naked. <laughs> There's a naked power-up and nobody has found it and I'm sad. <laughs> Is that going to make it into the trailer too? Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't that's think we're going to find that in the game either. That's in. That's just that's in, in Tiny Plumbers. Uh, it's right, just okay, in Tiny Plumbers. Yeah. yeah. You, well, you still have, that, you know, maybe some DLC. Beach DLC. Beach DLC. Uh. Okay, so I got a little bit about game jams, uh, the Never Daunt 8 bit, um, oh, yeah. and that's kind of what I got in the list. So, Bob, hit the, the, the next button and let's watch uh, you guys play with Hydra controllers from an old game jam. Oh, yeah, this is the, what we were talking about, the Kaiju Kuchu Gukan. Oh, no, this is not. This is Never Daunt. Is... Oh, no, hit back. Any... Yeah, hit back. <laughs> we're traveling through Jack, time. Jack, no, I skipped it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is Kaji Kuchi Kuchi. Ancient times ago. Yeah. 
Sure. That's a DK1? Yep. Yeah. And we could only capture one of them, but that's how we did what we did. We captured in. Ah. Um, that was what it output to the monitor. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what output. And so, and it was cool because if you had a headset and you went back and watched a video, it, you still got stereoscopy by watching a video <laughs> that was. Um, oh, I never tried doing uh, that. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, it won't make you it feel very good, but sick. it'll work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. If you were hardcore, you know, and you, you wanted it, That's okay. you could get it. How about that? Left down. So I can be here in a second. Oh, yeah, there were the little UFOs that you could try to hit out of the air if you wanted to. Yeah. It's just a very small thing. The jam was, I think, two days. Nice. My friends like saw play this a while ago. Oh, cool. So, it, maybe if you skip forward in the video a little bit, you'll see we more can, going on. Unfortunately, yeah, it makes oh, it okay, okay. terrible for me with showing videos. Um, unfortunately, I can't even start think, it at a certain time. I think I just oh, pulled this straight from a live stream, so. <laughs> yes, it was just uh, a clip. <laughs> so no, no editing. Uh, yeah, and also the the Hydra, they videos. get some idea. You guys can go Hydra to their, their channel, of course. Oh. Hydra controllers were not one to one. They they were kind of right. like yeah. forward was some amount forward, backwards was some amount backwards. It was just guesswork. And so when I'd use, we had to ratchet them. I'd go to Riftmax a lot, and I actually did a, a talk show in Riftmax before this one. And we had hand controllers there. Riftmax was actually pretty innovative to have that. Um, and yeah, yep, Hydra. <laughs> Hydra had wires on them connecting everything. Oh man. This is video. Oh, it's very long. It's very right, long. Um, uh, well, I was hoping you can just uh, get a preview. So you can actually build in this. You could like build little towers and make, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not uh, good at making video and like like I'm not a. I'm not an entertainer as far as like being in front of people. I can make video games just fine. There's its butt! Yeah. Did you see its cute butt? Look at its cute butt! <laughs> 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 part of the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For me, at least. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and, and stop that. That's super cool, super fun. I'm glad you guys have that up there. Um, That's early days of VR stuff. Yeah, it was like history. we had people cackling wildly when they were trying that jam game, though. Yeah, yeah. it was it's pretty satisfying. Fun. And you guys have done a lot of Ludum Dare, right? Is that how I say it? Ludum Dare um, yeah, yeah. jams. Yeah. The, there was one or two done here where people tried to use VR chat to do them. Um, oh, there was a little bit of success, uh, um, but it was pretty challenging, of course. Yeah. And then let's hit next on Never Daunt. Uh, your first game, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, very first game. You guys haven't been able to tell we're big fans of cats. So. It copied us. <laughs> uh, so yeah, everything that you're seeing in this video is made by the players in the game. Oh, so. so if you have chats like right up your guys' alley, this is yeah, yeah. You like this place, right? Yeah. In VR chat, you can go to uh, build the castle. It's that by me, and it's got some of the blocks that were in this. Just like and you four. can move them around and walk on them and build castles. And 
Love it. Love it. Like a mini VR experience of this. Like four blocks instead of hundred. This is a lot of fun with this game. Uh, there were vending machines. Oh, this was, um, 2000. We never fully released it. It was in beta yeah. until, uh, a long time. we. The engine that we were using just kind of reached its limit and we couldn't finish it. Well, there's also, um, there were server costs that we had to keep it running. Same connection, so it makes sense go. that they crashed. Mm -hmm. So we will take I a quick crashed, break while we wait for crashed. our. Yeah, there's a lot of people oh, in here. I appreciate everybody coming out. I hope you guys are liking it. Seems like you guys are. Uh, um, they're like coming back. Uh, I'm sure we'll come back. Yeah, yeah. We just gotta wait for them. So I, I guess I should entertain until they come back. I really dig these guys. Um, it's so cool that they're in VR chat. I'm not fist fighting you, mean man. Me man just got his virtual reality set and he wants to fight everybody. Uh oh, I'm losing the crowd. I'm losing the crowd. Oh no. What, should I should I care about that and wait or, or should I sit him back down? Hmm. Um, we'll just uh, take this quick break. Somebody's got to run to the restroom. This is a good time to do this. So we'll crack open a beer and uh, we'll wait for our guests to come back. I can continue really appreciate up everybody video. watching. Man, you're doing great. Uh, Let's play the next one. There's only one more and I want to save that. Um, or you... well, I can continue to play this one. It's going to be amazing. Hey, you're alright. Yeah, you're alright. Are you doing well? I played the other day and I'm picking up his hat and I want to be. Outclassed by I do like what you did with it. It just started from the video show. So but the physics and media are top notch. No, no, the level no. design is top notch. It's made it's by people who know what they're doing. From what I understand, it's just yeah. pause functionality on the board. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 In talking yeah, to Pause is working yeah, now. Pause and play work. Yeah, but I said no, just hit stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll just, we'll just chill. Yeah. We're alright. What are you guys thinking in the stream? I'm ignoring the night. You digging this show? Ah, it's good so far, yes. You guys can hear it? Come on, stream. I'm thinking those connects are like all died. That would be terrible. I have a band hammer. What are you going to do? That's like the worst place to start with. That's right. Keep going. <laughs> 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 I'm a pacifist, no fighting. I take the seats. With the original I got I, I take it you want to see? Oh, I don't care. Yes. Oh, no. no. that, that would make sense. Okay. Out so by the time she gets back, I take it I have to get out. Yeah. You get out now. Thank you. Okay, I figured as much. You finally worked out. What do you think? I also do like to make Screen. 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 A perpetual oh, loading game. screen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Same here, same here. Uh, I've seen that happen. Okay, out of Hop on out. Oh! And, oh yes. have a seat. Okay, yes. Alright, alright. We've met before. Quiet on the set! Uh, yeah, maybe something happened to Arnett. I don't know. Where are you guys? Uh, 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 uh,
Yeah. Appreciate it. I'll wait for everybody to, to do that. And everybody needs to be quiet. Because so obviously it's a talk show and that's what we do to get things. Sorry, you were talking to him. I didn't really. Um, <laughs> thank you. Cool. We did it. Uh, herding cats. You guys like cats? Yeah. I do. Meow. I love them. I have a cat. I bet a lot of people around here have? have cats. Yeah, we have three. Mm -hmm. We do. One of them is sick right now. Yeah. Poor kitty. Best wishes. Have to shove oh. a lot of down his throat all the time. Yeah. Just um, antibiotics. I've been there with giving cats fluids. I've raised a bunch of animals and they've naturally gone, which is completely fine. Um, but mm. love animals. Used to work at a humane society and just work with the animals. Love it. Love cats. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where were we? Uh... We're talking about Neverdaunt, I think. Yeah, yeah. was there We're anything else to... to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys couldn't finish it, uh, because the the engine just got... You know, you pushed it to it, its limits, I believe you yeah. were saying. It was really? written in v vb.net, and that's, like, not a programming language for making video games. Certainly uh, not that's all I knew. Yeah, uh... But, uh, you used something called True Vision, right? Yeah, yeah, like I used a, a 3D engine. But that's the thing. The thing is, mm -hmm. I uh, is that it, it started to cost too much. Uh, it was taking too long to make. It was kind of like my it's my dream game to make, and I really want to make it again uh, from scratch, probably in Unity, uh, probably but in not TV. in like yeah, <laughs> not in 8-bit ish kind of visuals. Uh, so that's probably going to be our next project, and I'm, it'll probably be a full VR supported game. One of one really. of our next projects at least. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. It'll be a competitor VR chat and we'll cast you out as exiles. Uh... You want me to kick him? I can get rid of this this heckler. <laughs> me man. <laughs> he heckles every show. <laughs> he just got VR for the first uh, he just got it a few days ago, so Me Man's been here in VR chat for a long time and now he's got VR so we always love it when our friends uh, join, me join us in the, the virtual. <laughs> One of send, us. Exactly. Yes. I was trying to get my headset to work, but it's broken. I don't know what's going on with it. It's not broken. We only had two minutes to fix it, so I just was like, fine, I won't. Have you tried turning off my headset? My head's these batteries. That's what needs to be done, I think. Yes. Yep, that, that's why I work IT. I know the solution. <laughs> <laughs> our hero. James Strait. <laughs> I saw on your that you uh, did the indie dev show or dev so. Oh yeah, oh, the indie dev super Those show. Those fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that, and then uh, and I ran out of energy. Um, <laughs> they were, they were. So we yeah. were, we started that because uh, we were trying to greenlight Legend of Dungeon to get up on Steam, uh, and we were starting to put together this show to have like a lot of other uh devs together to to, to kind of like show off their games and do like a big production of it uh but then we got greenlit uh before the show was going to go on and we were just like fine that, that's great let's get as many let's other people anyway. you know as much Grow help and show, assistance yeah. as they can so, yeah, yeah bro force was on it and some other really great games awesome. that that moved on to be like super cool um, yeah and then I decided to do it annually, and for I think, uh, I think up until last year, I had done uh, an indie dev super show every year. And then, uh, then I started doing a thing where I'd interview the past guests. They'd come on every weekend, and, and we'd just kind of catch up and see where they were at years down the line. It was really fun. I, I've it. I've always been a big uh, a big fan of game developers kind of banding together. All the little guys, because yep. lots of tiny voices, and you can get heard when you put them all together. And it's Gotta lonely. Give too. love to the indie devs. Yeah. It ain't easy. It's you know, exactly really hard. I mean, indie dev, indie game, the movie, I think it was called. You know. Mhm. Mm yeah. You saw Super Meat Boy. And that was interviewing made, most says. of the like, in like the incredibly successful indie devs too. So. Like it's a, a lot of, even that perspective is very skewed. There's a lot of people who never make it. So there's there's a lot of people who pour their hearts into things and 
and they seem yeah. mild to no success, especially currently with the way that Steam is just flooded. We were incredibly lucky that we've been able to make a living off of mostly just Legend of Dungeon for the last like four years. <laughs> so that's been, so good, awesome, it's been amazing. I want to thank my guests, Spork of Love and Captain Robot, uh, for coming on the show and sharing all kinds of cool stuff about their games and just reminiscing about the past and our love for VR. I hope you guys enjoyed your time. We did. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks. What do you want to send people? What should they check out? Uh, do a little plug. RobotLovesKitty.com, I guess. Uh, there's links yeah. there to our YouTube, to our Discord channel, to our Twitch because uh, every once in a while we'll stream live development, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, robotloveskitty.com. It's easy to remember. Cool. Um, and yeah, next week we got Durs coming on the show. He is level designer on Man Eater. Man Eater is where you play a shark in the Gulf Coast and you will go eat people and level up and all kinds of RPG stuff added. It was shown at the PC Gaming Show at E3 this year. Check it out, Man Eater. Um, and then after that, we've got Pixel Ripped on the show. This is a VR game, very retro, takes advantage. Um, well, it it's, has a lot of 8-bit parts to it, but it's also like you're playing a game within a game. So basically the character is in a classroom, and they open up their Game Boy. Now you're playing inside the Game Boy, and uh, it's it's got a big scope to it. It's lots of really cool old oh, retro cool. graphics. Anna Ribeiro is one of the creators on that. And it's the day it's releasing on PlayStation, on you know, on, on all the VR platforms, and we're gonna have a little party here. You guys will really enjoy that. And that's it. Follow me on Twitch and YouTube and Twitter. It's all Gunter's Universe. And I want to thank Squid, GM3, Olivier JT, Cause and Effects, Afromana. Who else am I forgetting? Whoever else helps me with this show. I love you guys. Thanks so much. Join the VR Chat Events Discord at VRChatEvents.com. Click the Discord button. You'll be in there, and you'll see about 20 different events that are talk shows, game shows, open mic nights, improvs, all kinds of other cool stuff. If you like this stuff, tune in there. And that's it, everybody. Good night. We'll play the outro music. Hit it, Bob. Good night. And I like that. Thanks for and also, if anyone sees this Undertaker and it might be coordinating with Mr. Richards, let us know. I hope you all enjoyed the show, and good night, everyone. Time for kisses from us all. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Strange, for hanging out. We really appreciate it. <laughs>